Hi everyone. So this is your Narendra. I'm a psychologist, trainer and author. So today I'm here to tell you an important topic. Yes, congratulations. You have been appointed. So this is the wonderful word which everybody wants to listen. So how to get your dream job? So basically today I am going to tell all newcomers that how to get into the corporate world. Now first of all according to statistics of India more than 75% of people have no skills to get you know a job. So most of the employers see lot of things to take a person and I mean to give a job. So what all things which are required for a person? So basically in today's system we are focusing on academics but we are not focusing on leadership skills and study skills and life skills so this presentation will give you a overall overview of how to get your dream job now see when you are a student you are going to have a different life but when you are going to enter into corporate world you completely you'll be entering into a new life so what are the things which are required for you to get into a corporate life first of all a corporate life is a completely different world now how you are going to adjust in this environment is very very important so you should know lot of things before entering into the corporate world so the first in this program i am going to tell you about different aspects first of all how we should behave in corporate culture and what are the changes that we need to incorporate in ourselves and how to fit in corporate world and what are the different equities which we need to learn and the corporate attire skills and accountability and responsibility and about the rules of business communication and how to get success in corporate life now let's start this so what are the challenges generally a newcomer faces newcomer faces lot of challenges the first one is adjustment issues he won't be able to adjust to the situation as from college to corporate from campus to corporate there is lot of difference so when you enter into corporate world first thing is very important that is adjustment you need to adjust with the people you need to adjust with the new life pattern and confidence is very very important that means which the responsibilities that you are going to take is very important for you to have self confidence and to do it very confidently and you are going to get lot of goals achievements targets and lot of these things so you need to be prepared to meet the challenges of that employer and you need to complete your goals and you need to complete your task on time and apart from that you will be having peer pressure i mean pressure from your boss pressure from your manager so you need to be adjusting all to all to these situations and expectations and every employer expects something from you because when he is going to give you a job when he is going to pay you some amount so he is going to expect lot of things from you so it is your responsibility to give 100% of his expectations and when you are working you need to work individually and you need to work as a team player so many people have a problem because of today's lifestyle they are not able to meet with new people so this will give you a problem so you need to make a good impact as a team player and then you are going to go for a new environment so you need to learn lot of things lot of new things you need to learn and you need to implement all these new techniques and new learnings where you work so these are the general challenges faced by all newcomers but if you get a job and first day when you go for a work or when you go for a you know interview what all things you need to be very careful the first thing is dress for success you need to dress in a no in a you know very official and professional way i mean you know uh, during campus life there is nothing more important about your you know dress sense but for a job or for an interview your dress sense is very very important and when you go for a work or when you go for interview uh, you need to create your own space and then when you go there you have to be very you know calm and cool and listen to others very carefully don't speak too much lay low and listen as much as you can and when you go for a first day nail down all the names i mean to say you remember all the names when people come to you and they when in when they introduce you you listen to them you understand them and you remember the names and take deep breath i mean to say be cool and calm be relaxed and just get their names 
and then follow all these techniques when you go for interview and when you go for a job and be polite and be composed and see how people are working and apart from that the 6h model is very very important when you enter into corporate world the first thing they expect from you is honesty be honest with your work if you don't know anything you ask your seniors you ask the person who is responsible over there so honesty is very very important honesty is the best policy so people will expect honesty from you and second thing is hard work when you go a place where you know you need to show your skills the first thing is required hard work initial days you need to understand the process and you need to understand the system so it is very important for you to work hard and rather than hard work you need to work smart also and humble be very humble uh, give respect to people and always be polite and be humble show your humbleness to others and be follow some basic human values which are very very important i mean be patient and be you know polite with everyone so follow basic human values so that people will like to talk to you and have a hunger when i say hunger it is not physical hunger when i say hunger it means ready to acquire more and more knowledge hunger of knowledge and hunger of you know new job and new role and apart from that health is well so be healthy have a good food and then be healthy so that you know it will impact your life and your job ahead a lot apart from this six basic h values there is some behavioral traits expect, expected from you uh, by your employer so all employers who give job they expect optimistic attitude from their employers apart from optimistic i mean be optimistic expect positive things and uh, give yourself 100% best so that is the attitude required be optimistic and have patience listen to others and then speak and have some leadership qualities take initiative and then work hard and be self motivated and have competitiveness learn a lot from others and be approachable so that you know uh, keep always a small smile on your face because that will attract people towards you so people approach you with the new things so these are very important things and accountability and responsibility when i say accountability when people gives you some job it is responsibility you take up that job and you do the job that is responsibility but when i say accountability that means you take account of that particular job i mean it is your responsibility that is that means it is you who undertake that particular task on your head that is called accountability so employees basically you will be accountable for lot of things just like you will be accountable for your boss for you know your manager for the customers and for the investors and for lot of people when you're working somewhere you're accountable to lot of people and obviously you're accountable to your family so at the end of the day you will be you have to earn bread and butter for your family that is very very important and you need to take your personal accountability on lot of things i mean to say you how to take personal accountability first thing be on time so reach your office or reach your workplace before 10 minutes that is what you know accountability is so be on time at least if you're not before 10 minutes just be on time uh, before you know it starts and second don't call an ill when you are well that means don't take leave or something else for a silly reasons and by saying that you're not well because that is something which is very wrong that will have you know a negative impact about you in future and do what is expected employer expect certain things from you so it is your duty to do those jobs very carefully and it is very important to do your job as expected and during work hours du- during work hours no time pass i mean to say no say say no to phone or anything else so when it when it is working hours give full time to only your work that is very very important so that's how you can take your accountability and cubicles whenever you are working it is very important that to follow certain work station ethics whenever you are working in your cubicle you have to respect each other's privacy so like you know when you are in in your cubicle you know you don't have to disturb others and no loud noises no don't need to shout every time so and keep your workplace very neat and clean so that whatever is required you can get it immediately and do not take others items without asking them and avoid eating the food at your cubicle and then take permission before entering into others cubicle or other place so that is work ethics you need to follow and you need to understand so that to have a better you know uh, career prospectus 
and corporate attire is very very important when i say attire it is good shirt and a good pant along with a trouser and you know dark color trouser and light color shirt and a good pant as well as a tie or a belt or something like that so it is very very important to have a good antiquities and even your manners are also very important the handshake is very very important the handshake should be very firm the handshake should not be like this on the above but it should be exactly moving exact smile is very very important so art of handshaking is very very important and art of exchanging your business cards is very very important and telephone antiquities are very very important telephone is a major role by which you know you will be talking to your customers and you will be talking to your managers so and email communication is very very important so telephone email are these things which will be helping you a lot in future and handshake when you are when you are you are shaking your hand so it is very important for the you to see the other person eyes and to gentle shake is very very important while exchanging business cards it is your duty to give your business card in the opposite side because so that a person can see your business card and can understand what is written in there and while taking business card you just have to take the business card and see and give certain comment to the other person so that the other person will come to know about your own style so it is very important while receiving business card give a smile and tell something about the business and meeting etiquette is whenever you have certain meetings you have to reach there before time and then you have to keep your mobile phones off and you need to ask if any doubts are there you need to ask your doubts after the meeting once the meeting ends and it is very important to for you to carry notepad or a pen every time whenever you go for a meeting and whatever important points are there you need to note down it immediately immediately during the meetings and while telephone etiquette is also you know to have to be very loud and very you know noisy and while talking you know to have you don't have to talk too much or too much you know uh, so uh, long time it is very important for you to close the thing and be very precise what you are talking to and what is the issue that you have to complete it in a very limited amount of time and emails are very very important things so while writing emails it is very important to put the subject on the top and apart from subject your message must be very focused don't drag your message just keep your message as short as possible and don't put too many attachments because it is it is very difficult for the other person to understand with lot of attachments and be kind and don't flame a lot and while framing your email also just be polite use some good language and proofread it before sending it just proofread it so that you will understand that how to what extent that the other person is understanding your message and to get success in your corporate life it is very very important for you to have all these things which i am telling you right now expose yourself to successful people just be with the always successful people so that these people will inspire you these people will attract success uh, you can attract success with these people and don't gossip because there are always people you find who is gossiping here and there so this gossiping will have a drawbacks in the future and take challenges work continuously out of your comfort zone because once you are in the comfort zone you will be there forever and you can't improve so come out of that comfort zone and give yourself 100% in everything and maintain good relation with everyone with manager with boss and every other colleague maintain good relationship and don't flatter your boss because uh, as you keep boosting your boss your boss will readily you know some or the other day understand that you are boosting him or flaming him and uh, personal integrity is very very important so you don't uh, drop your personal life but you have to manage your work life as well as your personal life and always be punctual that you set a mark or by yourself by going there on time and by you know doing your jobs on time and never take things personally because when you're working in somewhere the the things you have to take as a team and don't take anything as personal so these are the very successful tips that are required in today's generation i hope this video will be wonderful eye opening session for you and i hope those people who are looking for job will take all these things while going for interview and while going for this job because in today's generation 85% of the engineers are unemployable which i mean to say they are not uh, we are not able to give jobs to them so basically there are a lot of things we can learn and we can grow as a person so i request all this 
all the all the viewers to take this thing very carefully and to move away in their job